Hello everybody, welcome back to Code 4 Gaming, we're here in Emergency Response, Liberty County, where we've got a, a bit of a development over on the Liberty County News Twitter. They've recently just released a bunch of images regarding new police cars uh, coming to the game and a complete rework of all the designs of the cars. So jumping into it, we've got this uh, new model look of one of the new vehicles which are going to be coming to ERLC. So it has been confirmed that in an upcoming update, I know we've just had the Chop Shop update, but there is another update on the horizon, and it's looking like we're going to be seeing a bunch of new police cars, and maybe even a total uh, overhaul on the system we have in the moment in terms of the civilian cars. Now, this is not the only model they've released photos of. We have, this is almost an updated model of the previous one. Uh, so we can see here the light bar, and light bar, I just mean the lights at the front. Also got that uh, side model, so it looks something like an interceptor. So I'm guessing we'll be seeing an interceptor. And the following image, uh, just here, we have the classified uh, this release emergency response to Liberty County. And we can see this is, again, looks like another interceptor. We already have the Falcon, Falcon interceptor. No, Falcon interceptor sedan, which looks almost identical to this car. But this is going to be an updated model. Uh, and we're going to have more police cars just in general. So it's looking like some of the new police cars are possibly going to be coming in the form of uh, ideally they're developed for the look of an unmarked patrol car. They're really going for, they really want to utilize all those packs that we ha they have at the moment. So you've got the detective pack, you've got the customization pack, and they really want cars that really fit into that. So if you look at the police department cars, wherever you are from in the world, the cars they drive, they really want to maximize it so that you can customize your car in-game to look like any car. doesn't matter where you are, where you are in the world, you can have your police car look similar to the ones your department uses, which they're doing a pretty good job of. They've got uh, police cars in the game that represent from all over the world, but it's just good to see that again here in these images. There's also another uh, slightly important uh, thing. So when they were talking to some of the developers and model artists of Emergency Response, they were actually asked about uh, motorcycles coming to ERLC. And it was interesting, it's a, a bit of a bummer, but they actually shot the idea down. Uh, so we probably won't be seeing uh, motorbikes anytime soon in our ER ERLC. But no matter, it's good to see that they are definitely trying to push for some more updated version of the cars. Again, coming back to the models, we've already been confirmed that we've got a couple of, of new models uh, coming to the game in the form of the Falcon Interceptor. I'm guessing it'll be a Falcon Interceptor. It does definitely look like a Ford car, and the uh, Falcon vehicles are based on the Ford models uh, in real life. So, I really like the design of these cars. They're similar to ones we've already got, but even looking at this, they're still slightly modded. And... Being an ERLC player, I love playing on the police department. It's always great to get new police cars. It's certainly something that I know a lot of players, even people I know, they really want to just see uh, more specialized police cars. Because I know we already have a lot, but especially ones that don't have to be a certain expensive for starters, because there's a lot of new expensive cars. So that really reduces access unless people have Robux or are willing to just grind it out on either mafias or police. So hopefully we'll get to see some more equipment in the upcoming update and even trains it would be great absolutely amazing uh, if we could see some trains added to ERLC because I know even a lot of the other role-playing games and if you look at even big games because I know Mad City used to be huge look at games like Jailbreak all of these games they're trying to incorporate trains and other forms of mass uh, transit into the game and I know we already have buses but anyway here is one of the releases they've just got of how they're going to be changing just some of the indicators and just the whole way. So you can see here, as the car reverses, they've kind of redone that whole thing. We've got a uh, white light parking thing there almost, just to indicate that the car is moving backwards. So it's there's a lot of details being put into this game. We'd already We've already got cool cars. The city looks absolutely amazing. I know in the next update, we'll probably be getting to see an expanded map. Developers, guys... Please expand the map. It'd be great to see some new cities, uh, new places to explore, new robberies. And absolutely love the Chop Shop update. It's good to be able to steal some of the cars now. Frequency of those cars would be great. But again, just back to this uh, GIF here they've posted. It's good to see that they are going to be uh, doing some remodeling 
and uh, adjusting all the effects and all that uh, with this upcoming update. So all in all, great to see. Always love it. I think every player in the game, they love it when a new police car is added. It's always very exciting to see what they're going to add. Uh, but hopefully we'll also get some completely new uh, police cars and I'll definitely be watching all the people posting about it and covering it because it would be amazing to see some new police cars added to ARLC. I know we already have heaps, but you can never have too many police cars. So guys, be sure to smash the subscribe button, comment down below, give this video a massive like. It really helps out the channel. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And until next time, everyone, goodbye!